I've got something exciting to talk about. Illustrations by me. Now, when I get started here, I just want to let you know, I, I'm ruining my YouTube career right now. This is the end of it. Just so you're aware, when you say, when did it all fall apart? When did it go wrong? It's right now. Let me explain. I built a website. Now, I am not a typical YouTuber art website. Not like, it's not a site where you go on just to look at stuff about me. That's not what this is. I'm going to get to all the details here in a second. We're going to go through it. We're going to go through the screen and I'm going to show you all the stuff, hopefully, if I do it right. But here's what I'm talking about. I have used Synthesite, which turned into Yola. I've used web.com, I've used weebly.com, I've used wix.com. I've used a lot of web builders to build sites. Matter of fact, I built one with Weebly for a customer, well, it was actually for a company. And I just, it was just very easy, just drag and drop, and it was a little limited. There were some things you couldn't do, some third-party extensions that no longer were supported, and it changed the site, and I had to do some things. But I've done a lot of different things. I decided to go and try Squarespace. This is not a sponsored video. Let me tell you why it will never be a sponsored by Squarespace video. Because it is the most convoluted, difficult to work with program I've ever used in my life. When you see all these YouTubers and they're like, oh, use Squarespace. They're easy. They make it easy to have any, for anyone to have their own site. No, they're probably the most difficult. Now, I'm not saying that they don't have the qualities to have the top of the line site, all the different things you can add to it and make it look professional. You can do that. But to figure it out, I spent four hours just going through trying to build the first page, just the landing page, the home page. It was very difficult. I immediately jumped ship. I went to Wix because they're actually easy to build. You can actually connect everything you want to connect very quick. Spend a couple hours with it. I could do just about anything I wanted to do. And they walk you through some things. You just say, oh, I don't know how to do this. You just click on the little question mark. And oh, yeah, you do it by doing this. Oh, okay, that's easy. I could do that. I'm telling you, I will never be sponsored by Square. That's what I'm saying. Squarespace is known to spend the most money on YouTube as any other site. And there, I mean, you don't have no idea. Brand deals for some of these people, anywhere from $500 to like $3,500 to $5,000 per video from Squarespace when they're sponsored, plus bonuses when people sign up for it. Not me. I will never get that opportunity because right now I'm telling you I would never support that. I can never promote that company knowing how difficult it is versus all the other companies. They're so much easier than them. So I'm not going to get that kind of deal. I, don't worry about that. I'll worry about that later. So I know at least one person was very upset that when I said I had some exciting news coming, they wanted me to have like a $500 program that I was going to teach, a $500 program where you can become a master artist in one easy lesson. And I, I just didn't do that. I didn't say, and every, you notice how every time you hear, oh, I have something very exciting coming for you from a YouTuber. It's like something you can pay money for, something you can spend your money to make them more money. And they're like, oh, look, I have this course I'm releasing that is like $3,200. And it's just one easy payment of $3,200. You can send that to me and I'll, isn't that exciting? No, it's not exciting. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I think this is actually exciting. Let me walk you through it a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna try and talk to you while I do this, but what you have here, this is the illustrations, but hopefully I can make this record and I'm not just showing you slides, but if I can't make this record on the screen because I've never used the program before, maybe I can hopefully get this working well. So this is the Illustrations by Pete website. The reason that it's so exciting is because it's mostly about you. There's a, there is a spot on here where I can sell you something, but it's not important. We'll, we'll go through this. So the top of the site, Right in the middle of this page here, you see this is the illustrations by Pete. This is where you go to watch 
a video, then you do the view art. Now this is very important. We're gonna get to this section here. View art, there's a whole gallery just for you. Uh, free reference photos, I, I love photography and I take a lot of pictures. Right now, you'll see, it'll just be birds and stuff, but I'll do a lot of landscape stuff and little different patterns in nature and flowers and things. I'm gonna put them all up here for you to use. We'll go through them as well. There is a section for me to sell some art. I will do that. There's a little about me, but I didn't want to do a whole page for about me. I just did a little thing on the home screen towards the bottom. And then of course you can sign up for a mailing list. I'm not gonna go and just bombard you with emails constantly. If you say, oh yeah, I wanna, just I'll sign up for this. And then every other day you're getting emails from me. It's not gonna happen. This is just really if I'm doing a giveaway or I'm doing something important with the community, I'll email you let you know what's going on. That's about it. Okay, so let's go to this first page here. This is the viewer art page. Now, it's a little gallery thing. I don't know why, for some reason, the guy's looking at art in his sweatpants with tennis shoes. I, I don't know. It was weird enough for me to leave in there. I liked it, so I left it in there. But anyway, it says coming soon. Okay, so I what I need you to do is go to this page on the site. The site will be live by the time you see this. Go to this page on the site and go ahead and put it. Now, if you sent me art in the past, I'm not putting it in here. You've got to redo this whole thing. You sign up. It's going to be your best piece, just one. And you put your first name, last name, your email, and a message. And you just put the message, I'd like to you to display my art or whatever. I would like to participate. And then you hit submit. And then I will get back in touch with you and we can talk that way and you can send me what you need to send me. Now, these are just samples. This is not, nothing here is actually something that someone sent. But let's say someone did send one of these. When they highlight it, it'll show their name and then, or your name, rather, if you send it in, it'll see it, it'll show your name. You click on it, it'll take you to a page with the piece. It'll have the name up at the top. It'll have your information, like, okay, contact you at, you know, whatever, Instagram to find your art, or if you have a YouTube channel, it'll have your YouTube channel. If you have a Facebook page, it'll have your Facebook page. I don't care where else you post your stuff, I'll put your link there, that way people can find you if they like your art but they're only gonna see that one piece of first. Now, here's something else. If you wanna put a watermark on there, that's up to you. I'm not gonna stop you from doing that, but I don't do that typically, but I'm also not gonna be putting watermarks on here. So if you need a watermark on your art, you're afraid someone's gonna steal it, please do that before you send it to me. Now they can click this little button up here and make it a giant thing here. So I want you to make sure that you understand, okay, they can make the whole screen your art just in case you're afraid of that. But I I don't put any kind of watermark on my art because it doesn't matter to me. Okay, the next page will be reference photos. Now when you go to the reference photos, it'll be the same thing. This is a lot of birds. Now I have to apologize to my Patreon supporters because for you, I usually do the little the, the things, the reference photo things for you. I'm gonna have to find something else for you. It'll be a little better. I'll try and do something a little different. But for now, I'm gonna make the reference photos available for everyone and it'll be the same situation where you can click on it and it'll show you the bigger picture. It'll tell you what it is and then you can make it larger and use it a full screen. Now, here's what I suggest you do. You can do one of two things here. You can leave it up on your screen and use it for reference or you can hit the print screen button on your keyboard if you don't know how to do that. Hit the print screen, open up a Word document, paste it to the Word document, then right click, hit save as, save picture as, and then it would save it to your desktop. I know it's convoluted and annoying sometimes. Or you can get like a screen capture program where you just capture a screen, but it's the same thing. It's still a screenshot, you gotta put it somewhere. I don't think it'll let you download my phone's obnoxious. Yeah, I don't think it'll let you download the actual image. I don't know if you can right click it and actually download it. I, it's not live yet for me, so I don't know if it'll let you do that. But when you see it, it, it should be live. If you can do that, feel free. Take these, you don't have to credit me. You can if you want to, but it's really not important. I just wanna give you something to create. If you're just feeling a little uninspired, you wanna do something, come here and look. I have several different Photos here. There's quite. There's not loading because this again. This is 
This is through the editor, so this is not the actual website that you're looking at here, and it's not loading the rest of the photos. Anyway, there's about a dozen or so here. Um, but go ahead and take them and use them however you want to use them for whatever kind of reference you need, and just don't worry about it. Just have fun with it. I tried to get some decent pictures, so I've got some close-ups, I've got some a little bit of blurry background on some of them. I hope they look nice. I hope you enjoy them. Okay, the next page is the Wall of Fame page. Now, this is for you again. I want to acknowledge the fact that you're supporting this channel. So, not just, I, let's point this out here. This is not just for people who monetarily support me. Of course, it is for those people as well. I thank you very much for doing that. But, this is for uh, people that support me monetarily. If they donate an item use any of the affiliate links if you have clicked on an amazon affiliate or something like that or you have just increased your or overall visibility by talking about us all the time on social media and you know calling us out all the time calling us out i don't think that's what it's a shout out or something like that you shout and then you get on this page so your name will be here right now. There's only a few because number one, I have a terrible memory. Number two, it doesn't always tell me it. As a matter of fact, third party sites don't tell me at all. If you buy something from Amazon affiliate link, it doesn't tell me who bought it or where it's going. It just says, oh, you got a commission based on this product. That's all it says. So it doesn't say, oh, the, yeah, someone that, you know, they this is the person and this is where it's going. This is what they bought. That's private information. They don't share that with me. But and the same thing if you go to through like Spreadshirt or something, you buy a button or a hat or a shirt. It doesn't tell me who buys it. Or you go through, we're done with Fine Art America. They suck. They have taken someone who has bought something through them and they took it and they folded it into a triangle and sent it to them. It's all messed up. It didn't have the whole picture. They've been trying to contact them. They're not doing anything. They're unresponsive. I tried to contact them and they've un been unresponsive for me. I want to make sure this person gets something. So we're done with Fine Art America. But if you go through like spread shirt or something like that and you get a shirt or hat or mug, whatever you get, um, it doesn't tell me who bought it. It just says someone bought a mug, someone bought a button, whatever. But it doesn't tell me who bought it. So what I'd like you to do right here, there is a little section here where you can fill out your first name, last name, your email, and then just say if you bought something for that was merch or something like that, go ahead and let me know. If you gave me shout out to you, let me know that. Don't feel weird about it. Just put it, I want to put your name on here. I want to fill up this page. So if you bought something and I have no idea you got an affiliate link through Amazon, just let me know. Yeah, I bought something through your affiliate link. So I can put your name up here. That's what I want to do. Now, I, I don't want you to tell me what you bought from Amazon. If you bought like a button or a shirt or a hat, that's fine. You let me know or you buy a piece of art, let me know. That I will know because you'll have to buy it through me. But anyway, but if you just did something through Amazon, whatever, I don't need to know what you bought because every 48 hours, that's how long it, for you click on that link. 48 hours later, I get a credit. So you got a commission on dog food and I don't, but I don't know who did it. It doesn't tell me anything. So it doesn't matter if you buy it. And I don't want to know what you're buying through the Amazon affiliate link. That's fine. You can tell me if you want, if it's an art supply, but if it's anything else, don't worry about telling me. But anyway, I want to know so that I can put your name here. It's important to me. Anyway, this next page is very exciting to me. It is the forum page. Now, Here's, I, I love that I get a lot of response from videos and you talk to me and we answer, but that's just directly to me. Here, you're gonna be able to sign in, sign up with the forum and start talking to people that are in the community and grow together and maybe help each other. And I would love to see, I'm gonna bounce in and out of the forum once in a while just to see what's going on. I'll comment here and there, but really this is for you guys to talk to each other and get some, I don't know, just just have some fun together. Just talk about stuff. So I threw up a couple of things. You could always create a new post, but I threw up a welcome section. Please introduce yourself. Say, this is me, and I like to do this kind of art, or whatever the case is. You don't even have to do that. This is me. Um, and then you have your favorite art supplies. There's a favorite artist, styles of art, but you can, whatever you want. You can select a question, you have a question, 
create a new post and say, I don't know what kind of brush to use. What kind of brush do you all use? And then everybody can comment on it and let you know what kind of brush. This brings me the most joy. I would love to see this just blow up. I know it's going to take time, but if everybody goes here and just signs up for the forum and just talks to each other and it develops, I love to see that kind of stuff. So that's important to me. And then there is an artwork page. So if I have some original artwork for sale and for the first couple of months, I'm going to do 10 to 15% off on everything. And I don't have a lot up here now, but I will. I'll have some more stuff up here. And you can check out right on here. It's a secure site. You can use credit card, whatever, and do that. I'm not expecting much from that. That's not really why I did the site. All the other stuff is why I did the site. really want you to focus on each other and, and grow as a community and get bigger as a community. We all get together. I want to share your art with people. I want them to see what you're doing. I want to have reference photos in case you want something to draw and you have no idea what to do. Now you have some reference photos to pick from. I want you to be recognized for what you're doing for me because it means a lot to me. It means the world to me. It's very important. You're very important to me. So I want to recognize you when you do something for me. And then the forum, of course. I want to have everybody talking to each other. And I think it'll be a fun little experience. It's just an experiment. I wanted to do something. I didn't want to do the normal, like, artist thing where you just click on it and it just shows all their artwork. I, I, I don't like that. I, I like, I think the community is more important. The bigger the community grows, everybody benefits anyway. So let's grow the community. That's the most important part. So the site is live now. Please head on over, introduce yourself in the forum, or let me know so I can talk to you if you bought anything or you've spent any money on this or you just promoted us. And just let me do that. Let me put your name up there. Let me know. Don't feel weird. I know sometimes it feels weird. You're not bragging. You're not looking for a pat on the back. You're just looking to let me know so I can do so. I'm asking you. So thumb up the video if you're going to head over right now and after this video is over of course i didn't want you to break away from anything and but anyway you're gonna go over and just check out the site and sign up for the forum and start say hello and just so we can see you in there and then people can start talking to each other and having some fun so all right that's about it for me i'm gonna go i'll see you in the next one bye i did the whole thing without the light i'm gonna have to redo this whole thing